afternoon. I'm John Monger, Director of the Department of Environmental Protection. We're here today in Wheaton Regional Park talking about electric vehicles. There is a lot going on with electric vehicles here in Montgomery County, leading the way as usual when it comes to environmental issues. 30% of the state's electric vehicles are right here in Montgomery County. And I want to say a very, very public thank you to Councilmember Glass and the entire County Council for their continual support of our programs to make sure that we're getting EVs out into the community as a big part of our climate action goals. So we're standing in front of both of our electric vehicles and I'd love to hear from you, council member. What are your, some of your favorite things about your EV? Uh, the most favorite thing I love about my electric vehicle is that I don't have to go to the gas station anymore, that I can travel throughout the county, going to meetings, going to events and run a much cleaner vehicle. You know, my, my, my first love is public transportation and uh, I would take the bus or the metro anywhere, but because I cannot take it everywhere, I got to drive as an at-large council member. And so last year uh, I got my Chevy Bolt and it's been, it's been happily ever after. Driving all over Montgomery County, as I know you do a lot in your roles, council member, how, how have you found it for charging? Is it easy? Is it hard? Have you been able to find chargers? What's that been like for you? Uh, at first, I, I had uh, charging anxiety, but thankfully, we have more than 600 charging stations throughout Montgomery County. One of the things you might not know is that you don't need to be able to charge at home to have an EV. Here in Montgomery County, residents can apply to actually install curbside electric so you can charge your EV right on the street. So for those of you who haven't done it yet, we're gonna do a quick demo so you can see exactly how easy it is. So you just open it up, take the cap off just like you're taking off a gas cap and you plug in. Easy as that. Go electric. It is great. We have charging stations throughout the county and we have the infrastructure and we're building more. And I know a lot of people are concerned about driving range and the anxiety therein, uh, but there are uh, hybrid, right? I, I think you know about hybrid plugins and yep. how's that working for you? Yep, great. So my car is actually a plug-in hybrid, meaning it can drive on all electric and it can run on gas. So it uh, allows you to travel long distances by gas when you're really away from the charging infrastructure. But frankly, all my daily driving is all electric because it can cover that too. Yeah, in Montgomery County, uh, where I spend nearly all of my time is a large place, but it's small enough that I can go a few days without charging and then charge it up and I'm ready to go. And I would say, don't forget to shop around. I mentioned we have a program, our EV co-op program. We work with dealers across Montgomery County to make sure discounts and deals are available and that our consumers know about them. So you can find more information about that program on the Department of Environmental Protection's website. And like I said, we're really trying to make sure that the infrastructure and availability of these vehicles is there so that when you're ready to make your next vehicle move, you can think about going electric.